All right, I was doing some digging and I noticed that not only does St. Peter's Basilica, not only is that place modeled after pagan Greek temples, many Catholic cathedrals are also modeled after pagan Greek temples. Let me show you this picture. Oh, this is a pagan Greek temple and you see the corridors with the columns and you know the big area where they have the god or whatever the god they worship, the Greek gods. And they have the corridors and they have this long hallway. And I showed in my other video how the St. Saint Pe Peter's Basilica has the exact same design. Well, I noticed that many Catholic cathedrals also have this very similar design. Here is a picture of St. Francis Xavier Cathedral. And this cathedral is modeled exactly the same. You know, the corridor with the columns and you know, and it even, it looks so like, much like a Greek temple. I mean, just the, the wall designs and everything, it looks like a Greek temple. But the corridor, and then you have like the uh, area where they have their goddess, they worship Mary, because Mary is their goddess. And they have this fruity, homosexual looking Christ guy. Uh, a crucifix at the you know a big painting and then you have this old man called God that they, that they call God the Father in heaven you know looking down at him uh, uh, definitely not a violation of Acts chapter 17 verse 29 which forbids making any images of the Godhead but a whole other story but why is it modeled exactly like a Greek temple here's another one Norwich Norwich Catholic Cathedral exactly the same you know the corridors with the with the columns and you know and then you have these statues up there and, you know, it's modeled just like a Greek temple. And then you have this other last one, uh, Blessed Sacrament uh, Cathedral in Sacramento, or uh, Cathedral of the Blessed Sacrament, sorry, in Sacramento, California. And again, you have this design, you have the corridor with the columns. And you have like the altar at front with the, with the goddess they worship, Mary. Their goddess, the Queen of Heaven. So... I just found that very interesting. Why are these Catholic cathedrals modeled after pagan Greek temples? Because supposedly the Catholic Church is Christ's church, so why are they modeling their church buildings after pagan Greek temples? Well, here's why. Because Roman Catholicism is not Christianity. Roman Catholicism is pagan Greek Roman religion repackaged. It's got nothing to do with Christianity. All they simply did, all the Roman pagans did, was they took Christian, they created a church, you know, I mean, obviously being influenced by Satan, they created this, this uh, counterfeit Christianity and took Christian names and gave them to pagan Roman practices. The uh, Greek gods, the Roman gods, became the saints, and then their goddess they worshipped it became the Virgin Mary, and Zeus became Saint Peter. Roman, and, and by the way, that's not my wording. That's actually, that's actually the wording of an ex-Jesuit, a high-level Jesuit who got out of the Catholic Church. I think his name is Alberto Rivera's. He said that, the Catholic Church just simply took pagan Greek, pagan Greek gods, or pagan, same thing, pagan Roman gods, and just turned them into the saints, and then took the Zeus, their kind of main goddess, you know, or main god, sorry, and turned them into Saint Peter. It's just Roman paganism repackaged. Roman Catholicism is a pagan hocus pocus, false cult. So, if you're a Catholic out there, I'd recommend you get saved because your church is pagan. It's based off Roman paganism, Greek paganism. So, just found it interesting how these Catholic cathedrals are modeled after these pagan temples. Kind of shows you the sort of spirit that are behind the people building these giant Catholic cathedrals. Where are they? Where are they getting the money for all this stuff? Too, I'm, I'm wondering how are they getting the money for all this? These giant cathedrals. Well, it's because first of all, Roman Catholicism is the richest religion in the world, and second of all, they have these giant cathedrals because when the Antichrist comes down, he's going to rule from the Vatican. He's going to rule from St. Peter's Basilica, and all the Antichrist followers will worship in these Catholic churches. I might do a study on that in the future, but that's going to happen. So anyway, God bless you. Goodbye.